Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Modest Television, and today I woke up this morning and checked my email on YouTube, and somebody had a request on how to make Arma 2 lagless, so I joined my favorite server here, um, and I'm recording right now at 16 FPS, which isn't great. Um, I don't have a dedicated graphics card in my computer right now, and a lot of people don't, so uh, my quality preference is normal. Uh, interface resolution 1024 by 7 uh, 68. Now I'm gonna go over how to reduce lag in the game. I'm gonna start with basic computer maintenance this, that uh, that sh is going to significantly improve your gameplay. Had you not done it in the past, um, I'm, then I'm gonna move on to how to improve games in general. And after that, I'll be going over how to improve this game specifically. Alright you guys, so as I mentioned before, the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys to improve your gameplay performance in Arma 2 is basic computer maintenance. This will not only improve your gameplay in Arma 2, but it will also improve your basic uh, computer usage. A lot of you guys are thinking, I already know how to do this, so you guys can skip ahead, but I'm just trying to get everybody up to the same speed here. Some people don't actually know this. So if you're like me, um, about a year or two ago, I had a laptop and I had never heard of this and uh, it wasn't until my friend told me that I actually got it and when I did uh, I analyzed this I had like 20 gigabytes of storage or something but I do this all the time on my new computer so I don't have much but once you download this install it get it open it's called CCleaner um, once again you're gonna click analyze like I just did and then you're gonna click run cleaner it'll show you how much needs to be removed and then when you click run cleaner um, you're going to um, actually run the cleaner. Make sure all of your uh, browsers are closed when you're doing this. Okay, so after that, move down to the registry part. Click scan for issues. I've already done this today, so it may not find anything, but we'll see. No issues for round. If there was, it'd have it selected, and you could click fix, and then you would fix it. But that will also improve your gameplay performance. Alright, next program is called Oslogix Distafrag. This will help your uh, hard drive health. Um, I've already done this. It takes it, This one actually takes quite a bit of time, but this will dramatically improve your basic computer usage if you've never run any, if you've never ran any disk uh, health programs. But what this does, it is, it'll find corrupt or def fragmented files on your hard drive and it will um, defrag them. Um, this will, once again, dramatically improve your computer health. Next program is security, malware by its anti-malware. A lot of people have their favorites for security, but I, dis, uh, I um, highly suggest this one. With this program, you always want to automatically update if it gives you the option. With, once again, um, I highly suggest this program. It's free. Um, a lot of people suggest it too. So you're going to want to download it, install it, go to perform full scan, and click scan. I've already done this, so I've caught all of my viruses, hopefully. Alright, you guys, so the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys to improve your gameplay performance in Arma 2 is a program called Razer Game Booster. I use this on my old laptop. It actually does help. Um, so you're going to want to download this, install it. Uh, you can Google this stuff. And basically what it does is... Um, you select a program to run in. Um, usually, it'll have detected games here already. If you can't find what you're looking for, uh, see, I don't see Minecraft in here, so you just grab it off your desktop, drag it into there, and then it will. Um, you can select it and click launch. There's a configure option, and uh, basically, what you can do is uh, select all of these things. Well, actually, no. Don't select these, just the uh, um, recommended ones. So basically what this does is it'll close background programs that you don't need to run. A lot of things in Windows will run automatically. A lot of people get really annoyed with this, but it'll close all the background programs when you're trying to run your game, and it'll uh, basically put more resources into the game opposed to other uh, programs that aren't needed. So download this, uh, set up your configuration, click apply, 
and you, if uh, you want to play Arma 2, click that. If you want DayZ for Arma 2, drag DayZ in there. I highly suggest this program. Alright you guys, so the final part of making your um, your Arma 2 game run faster is, and this is the most significant thing that's going to do the most help for you most likely, um, you're going to want to go to computer, you're going to want to go to libraries, documents, Arma 2. I've already done this, so uh, there's these two files right here. They're not going to show up as a notepad at first, so you're going to need to uh, do open with and then you're going to want to select notepad and click OK. So for both of these right here, you'll find a two different uh, things labeled GPU. I think this one will be at like a thousand and this one right here will say save three. But you're just going to want to edit the number right here to one. But I've already done that. Whatever it may be, edit it to one. Then go over to the other one, do the same thing. Come over to it and you're going to want to find the two GPU things edit both of these numbers to 1, alright? This should be a 3, I think, by default, and that is probably a 1,000. Edit them both to 1, and that will significantly increase frame rate in your game, and you will be much happier that way. Alright, you guys, so I'm back. I've done all the maintenance things that um, I explained in the video, and already I'm getting much better gameplay performance, so much nicer. Uh, improved FPS. Last time I was averaging about 10 to 15 FPS, and now I'm averaging about 18 to 20 probably. So, you know, it just looks a lot nicer. I'm getting less uh, lag when I go to move my mouse, much higher frame rates. I'm liking it. So, where are the weapons crates going in the base? Suggestion on how to improve uh, your gameplay performance. So, I've showed you guys what. Um, I know, and hopefully it works for you guys too. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and like the video.